what if two futuristic envoys, crafted from steel and circuitry, embarked on an epic journey and stumbled upon an extraterrestrial society in the vastness of deep space? Brace yourselves, because NASA drops a bombshell. Voyager has already mingled with cosmic neighbors out there. So buckle up, Earthlings. We might be on the interstellar VIP list. The Voyager probes, those intergalactic trailblazers, still have a cosmic carnival awaiting us. A whopping 45 years post-launch. These cosmic daredevils are set to be our celestial nomads, drifting through the cosmos for thousands of years, uncovering mysteries and waving hello to whatever awaits. Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to the cosmos. On this captivating YouTube channel, we delve into the mysteries of the interstellar medium, exploring the latest measurements and breakthroughs that continue to baffle scientists. Join us as we unravel the complexities of the ISM pondering its role in star formation and the cosmic ballet of stars through the galaxy. In a particularly intriguing twist, we delve into the alien theory inspired by Voyager 1's unexpected encounter with a surge of particles from the interstellar medium. Could there be life or an unknown force thriving in this cosmic expanse? Stay tuned for updates on the Voyager probe's ongoing mission. And if you're passionate about space exploration, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for an exhilarating journey through the cosmos. Picture this, a space probe, not much bigger than a VW Golf, sips by a spaceship, leaving the extraterrestrial occupants scratching their heads in amazement. They snatch the odd ball object and, deep in their spaceship's belly, uncover a tiny golden disk. A cosmic mixtape, perhaps. The disk comes with a manual, but here's the kicker. It's all depicted in visuals. A universal language sans words, unraveling the secrets of these spacey contraptions. What a mind-bending rendezvous in the cosmic playground. As the extraterrestrial eavesdroppers listen to the harmonious symphony emanating from our distinctive world, they are greeted by a rich tapestry of sounds. The rhythmic crash of waves on shores echoes the perpetual dance between land and sea, while the melodic chatter of birds weaves a delicate thread through the cosmic air. Human laughter, a testament to joy and camaraderie resonates alongside the distant hum of cars, a modern-day celestial chorus. Intrigued by this captivating auditory experience, the interstellar investigators are driven to delve even deeper into the cosmic tapestry. Their cosmic curiosity leads them to uncover not only the audible essence of Earth, but also the intricate cosmic blueprint that reveals the origins and characteristics of the beings responsible for sending out the enigmatic spacecraft. It's a cosmic journey through sound and revelation as the celestial eavesdroppers decode the secrets embedded in the echoes of our unique planet. To their amazement, the DNA they uncover bears a striking resemblance to their own genetic code. A universal kinship, perhaps, but the real mind-blower lies in the spacecraft's onboard computers, which spill the cosmic beans about its origin, trajectory, and all the jaw-dropping sights it witnessed during its millennia-long odyssey. As the interstellar dust settles, a cosmic light bulb moment occurs. This celestial traveler hails from a little blue planet called Earth. And, believe it or not, it's not just any vehicle. It's a pioneering space probe. The first of its kind, venturing to the edge of the solar system, revealing the mysteries of where its creators once called home. They did you swiftly to the heliosphere in 2018? Maybe in the distant future, other entities will graciously divulge the insights we humans glean from this probe. Fast forward to November 5, 2018, a pivotal day in human space exploration. Voyager 2 bid farewell to the heliosphere, venturing into the uncharted realms of interstellar space, making it the second human-made object to achieve this remarkable feat. The transition of Voyager 2 left Earth's researchers dumbfounded, especially due to the unmistakable delineation between the heliosphere and the interstellar medium. The data revealed an unforeseen abrupt shift, shattering previous model calculations and assumptions before the Voyager probes made their cosmic pit stop. Our understanding of this region was largely speculative. The heliosphere, akin to a protective cosmic bubble fueled by the sun's particle stream, stretches far into the cosmos. While it was a given that this sphere of influence would eventually conclude, the exact location and manner of this conclusion remained a cosmic puzzle. Initial assumptions envisioned a gradual fade out, like a beach or line, but lo and behold, the influence of our star dramatically ceases. A cosmic cliff, not a sandy shore. Voyager 2 stumbled upon yet another captivating aspect of this cosmic frontier. 
a peculiar magnetism that appears to impede the intrusion of energetic, charged particles from interstellar space, despite being many billions of kilometers away from us. At the juncture where the intense solar wind clashes with the gentler interstellar medium, a tangible barrier materializes. It's almost as if our solar system is cocooned within an impermeable sphere, a concept that captivates researchers and mission observers alike. In a cosmic day of all, Voyager 1 had already traversed this enchanting boundary of the heliosphere in 2012, almost mirroring the distance from the Sun. This alignment further hints at a consistent structure of the heliosphere. The notion that our world and the entirety of our solar system are nestled within this sheltering sphere is a delightful contemplation. Naturally, the initial measurements beyond this enchanting boundary were met with eager anticipation. The vast expanse between star systems is brimming with the interstellar medium, a realm that, until recently, rivaled the heliosphere's boundary in its enigmatic nature. The initial revelation arrived in the form of temperature anomalies within this space, clocking in at 30,000 to 50,000 Kelvin. These temperatures exceeded expectations of the anticipated 15,000 to 30,000 Kelvin range. This medium likely comprises radiation, magnetic fields, and particles originating from the Big Bang and the inaugural stellar explosions waves and particles embarking on cosmic odysseys that span billions of years navigate the vastness of the cosmos from time to time they chance upon regions where new stars come into existence seamlessly integrating into burgeoning stellar formations these celestial travelers are not immune to the gravitational choreography of solar systems mirroring the majestic celestial wanderings akin to our intrepid voyager probes however the data unveiled by voyager 1 and 2 isn't without its surprises while similarities abound, notable differences in this cosmic fringe region beguile scientists, prompting fresh inquiries. The interstellar magnetic field emerges as a stellar outlier, exhibiting two to three times more strength than anticipated. This revelation implies that interstellar particles wield a pressure on our heliosphere tenfold greater than previously envisioned, introducing intriguing queries about the dynamic interplay within our solar system hurtling through the interstellar medium at a velocity of approximately 828,000 km per hour, or about 230 km per second. Houston, we have a problem. It might have echoed the famous radio distress call from the Apollo 13 mission in the early 1970s where an engineer alerted superiors about a critical issue during the third lunar mission. However, this time around, the scenario deferred. The glitch wasn't with an Apollo space shuttle, and the control center wasn't in Houston, but in Pasadena, California. The stakes weren't as high. With just a probe crafted from steel and circuitry going awry in 2019, compared to the three lives at risk in 1972. Nonetheless, the perplexing data that Voyager unexpectedly transmitted triggered significant concern. Losing the probe at this pivotal mission juncture was not an option. So what unfolded? Apparently, Voyager 1 lost its orientation shortly after entering the interstellar medium, resulting in bewildering telemetry data. The data indicated a paradoxical situation. On one hand, the probe seemed in a stable orientation, and on the other, it appeared disoriented. While the two Voyager probes had encountered technical glitches during their extensive solar system journey, this was uncharted territory. After weeks of investigation, NASA officials traced the issue to the attitude articulation and control system, receiving perplexing data from one of the onboard computers. In a quest for resolution, scientists and technicians delved into NASA's archives, scouring construction plans from the 1970s and seeking advice from engineers long retired. Tackling the challenge of repairing a distant probe posed an entirely novel hurdle for NASA, yet their efforts proved successful. Once the glitch in the onboard computer was rectified, Voyager 1 regained its spatial bearings and resumed its mission, prompting a collective sigh of relief at NASA. It's nothing short of miraculous that these two probes remain fully operational after enduring the rigors of space for over 45 years. Radiation, extreme temperatures, and the test of time have undeniably left their marks. The probes have surpassed their original mission duration, and now, nestled in the interstellar medium, NASA is determined to keep them operational for as long as possible. The prospect of gathering data from these cosmic realms presents a unique opportunity that won't swiftly come around again. Technological Marvel In a surprising turn of events, the Voyager probes were hastily assembled under stringent budget constraints. At that time, 
No one could have anticipated that these seemingly unassuming probes would evolve into the trailblazers and heroes of interstellar exploration. Armed with an array of scientific instruments, Voyager 1 and 2 embarked on missions within the solar system and now extend their reach beyond. Among the critical tools on board is the magnetometer, a device tasked with gauging the strength and orientation of magnetic fields. This instrument played a pivotal role in identifying abrupt shifts in magnetic alignment during the transition into interstellar space. The magnetic data unveiled a revelation. The interstellar magnetic field is far more robust than anticipated. Another crucial tool is the low-energy charged particle instrument, measuring the energy and trajectory of charged particles. This instrument proved indispensable in unraveling the intricacies of solar wind composition, interactions between solar wind and the interstellar medium, and provided insights into the structure and dynamics of the heliosphere's boundaries. The Plasma Science Instrument, or PLS, meticulously analyzes the solar wind plasma, divulging crucial data on its density, temperature, and velocity. This information unravels the intricacies of the solar wind and its transformations as it encounters the interstellar medium. Meanwhile, the cosmic ray system aboard the Voyager spacecraft tracks the composition and movement of cosmic rays in interstellar space. Notably, these measurements highlight a higher intensity of cosmic rays in interstellar space compared to the heliosphere, providing a valuable testament to the heliosphere's protective role against cosmic rays. In further enriching its scientific capabilities, the Voyager probes are equipped with an ultraviolet spectrometer, adept at capturing ultraviolet radiation emanating from stars and the interstellar medium. This cutting-edge instrument acts as a portal, paving the way for extensive exploration into the composition and physical characteristics of the interstellar medium in the coming years. However, this cosmic journey is not eternal. By 2025, the nuclear batteries powering Voyager 1 and 2 will be depleted and the probes will gradually lose their vitality. Although they will continue their celestial odyssey, their ability to transmit measurement data will cease. The legacy of these intrepid probes, however, will endure in the wealth of knowledge they've bequeathed to humanity. Does life exist in the interstellar medium? Can we entertain the idea that the interstellar medium is home to living beings? It's a concept that might seem implausible, and skepticism is a natural response. However, this intriguing theory finds its roots in the data collected by Voyager 1. Admittedly, the notion may sound far-fetched at first glance, but let's embark on a journey to explore how certain space enthusiasts and unconventional scientists have dared to conceive and explore this captivating idea. Firstly, let's understand what the interstellar medium is. Essentially, the ISM constitutes the substance that occupies the space between stars. It is probably composed of around 99% gases like hydrogen and helium, with the remaining 1% being dust particles. Despite appearing as a vast void, the ISM is a complex and diverse structure. Surprisingly, the density in this space is quite low, averaging just one atom per cubic cm. This low density means that the medium cannot transmit sound or other waves in the same way as it does within our heliosphere or a planet's atmosphere. The temperatures in the ISM vary significantly, ranging from freezing Kelvin in dense molecular clouds to scorching millions of Kelvin in ionized regions. These extreme conditions give rise to cosmic phenomena that captivate scientists. Voyager 2 has unveiled that the interstellar medium near our solar system possesses higher temperatures and a more robust magnetic field than previously assumed. Despite the progress made with new measurements, the interstellar medium, or ISM, continues to be a significant enigma. The interactions among different ISM regions likely contribute to star formation and the broader movements of stars within the galaxy. Now let's delve deeper into the captivating realm of the alien theory. Voyager 1 encountered an unexpected surge in particles from the interstellar medium, a phenomenon resembling a dense signature emerging in the vast emptiness of space. Imagine a diver in the ocean, encountering an unusual density that sparks curiosity about its origin, perhaps a current, a school of fish, or an entirely unknown creature. In a parallel fashion, researchers scrutinizing this data felt a comparable sense of fascination. The sudden influx of particles, with their unique characteristics, defied the patterns of random IS immigrants. Instead, it appeared more akin to a distinctive force, a mysterious form of energy, or even a living entity. 
This prompted some researchers to entertain the intriguing possibility that it could be a living presence adapted to the ISM or an undiscovered natural force. While these speculations await validation, the future teams with the potential for revelations from the ongoing Voyager probe mission. To keep abreast of these cosmic explorations and tantalizing discoveries, be sure to subscribe to our channel for a riveting collection of space videos. And that's it. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey through Spaceverse. If you enjoyed exploring the mysteries of the interstellar medium and pondering the potential for extraterrestrial life with us, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. For more thrilling space content and to stay updated on the ongoing Voyager probe mission and other celestial wonders, make sure to hit that subscribe button.